What we're looking at here is a toilet and the bathroom floor with a small water leak at the base of the toilet. And here's a close up. You can see that uh, there's definitely some gooey stuff there. And if you have a problem like this, there's a good chance that the wax ring is damaged. This is what it looks like after you remove the toilet. By the toilet rocking back and forth and moving, it will actually squish. It'll, it'll kind of squish a section of the ring or an area of the ring and allow water to seep out of it or uh, waste from the toilet when you flush it. It's not a, not a real common thing, but it does happen. So if you have a loose toilet, wouldn't be a bad idea to tighten it up or put some shims underneath it to avoid it from leaking in the future. If you do remove the toilet and the surface is flat, where the arrow is pointing to, you know it's flat in the back, the water's not leaking from there. The toilet is providing a nice seal. If the wax ring is flat, there's a good chance that the toilet is sealed. That's not always going to be the case either, but I just wanted to provide you with another example. If you remove the toilet, you've got a water leak at the base, you remove the toilet, and the wax ring is nice and flat, then you might have a crack in the toilet. And uh, that uh, would need to be, you need to check that out. I don't know, put it up on some sawhorses, run some water through it, something like that. Look for the crack. But that isn't always going to be the case. I just threw that out there. And the wax ring could actually be flat. And then there's a gap between the toilet and the wax ring. Let's just say it's an eighth of an inch or quarter of an inch allowing water to go out. But most of the time, you're going to see something like what we were looking at with the wax ring damage in the previous picture. You're going to see a spot where the water is leaking from or could leak uh, from. If that's the case, put another wax ring on it and uh, put the toilet back on and see if you have, uh, if the water leak goes away. Now you can always put two wax rings on too. You can always double up the wax rings if you think that that's the problem. These are usually inexpensive. You can get them for, I think they're under $5 each. Set them in place and then set the toilet on top and uh, make sure that it's securely fastened. And you might not need to check all, you know, tighten all the bolts up and stuff like that. Flush the toilet, see if it's still leaking. If it isn't, uh, then um, proceed on. I mean, the last thing you're going to want to do is put some shims underneath the toilet, put your, you know, put the whole system back together, put some shims underneath the toilet, tighten it down and put some type of a caulking or adhesive underneath the um, toilet and then still have it leaking. I mean, this just, that's not going to be a good thing. Make sure that the wax rings are doing their job before you finish sealing the base of the toilet to the floor. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've seen people do something like that and the toilet and the water comes right out of the bolt holes or a little crack, a little gap somewhere. So make sure you've solved the problem before semi-permanently attaching the toilet to the flooring.